Hello everyone, we are back with part 3 of Nino Kuni, and the last thing we were doing was heading into, what is this place called, the Deep Dark Wood, to meet some mysterious old man that's going to give us something to break, unbreak hearts, I think it was, unbreak the broken hearteds of the broken hearts. What is that little thing, that's not new. Look at that, it's a waystone. There's useful. A waystone? Yeah, mun. They're these ancient stones, see? You can use them to store a record of yours, your adventures so far. In wild places like forests and so on, you can't just plonk yourself in the nearest rock and write your sore down. But why not? Why not, he says. Give me strength, mun. Because they're crawling with horrible beasties, ain't it? They are. That sounds kind of scary. You'll get used to it, Mon. Just remember, you can't go recording young, your progress any old where. All right, let me s touch it and oh, our health and magic power will be fully restored. That's pretty good. That's it all, Mon. We get to save here. Basically, it's a restore save place, which is why you should stop at every waystone you see and make good use of it. Better safe than sorry, ain't it? Sure, Mr. Drippy. Tidy, that's what I like to hear. Let's hope you're as good as your world. Wait, yeah, something like that. Right, so next stop, the old man of the woods. Alright, so let's go over here. What is that little thing over there? There's an icon on my map. I don't know what that is. I guess it's nothing. We'll just go over here. HP and stuff was restored. We don't need a save right now. We just started the game back up. What is this thing? Look at that. This is useful. If you're lucky, you'll be able to use this one, these one day. Oh, I bet that's like a fast travel system. I dropped down the hole and, and stuff. Maybe. Looks like it could be a fast travel. I really want to know when we get a beastie. When we get to use our own little beastie against other beasties. Because that's like the primary focus of the combat, I believe. うん、静かか。わしに何の用だ。いやいやいや、一の国から客人が来ましてね。ほんでもって旦那にいろいろとお力を貸していただきたいと。お前はいつも困った時にだけやってくる。全く調子のいいやつだ。すんません。旦那に
The boy is correct. Look at his wizard's companion. It would seem that it is missing more than a few of its pages. How do he know? He can't see my book from here. So does that mean I can't cast the spell? Ho ho ho! I am not as powerless as all that, young man. Oliver, was it? Let me see now. Form familiar. Ah, yes. A gift from me to you, young Oliver. He gave us the missing page. Awesome, we're finally getting our familiar. Yes, do, do, do. Thank you very much, old Father Oak. But simply possessing the page for a particular spell is no guarantee that you'll be able to make use of it. Some spells are simply not meant for certain wizards, such as life. Don't worry about that for now, Mun. Just give Form Familiar a go, will you? Sure thing, Mr. Drippy. This costs zero MP also. Uh, Form Familiar. Do we get to choose or something? That'd be really cool. <laughs> well, things cute, at least. Wow. Well, we got our little familiar. It doesn't look like he can do much, but uh, I'm sure we'll strengthen him up. So this is a familiar, huh? And he'll be coming with us? Indeed he will, Ollie boy. The more the merrier, ain't it? Here, you'd better give the little fellow a name, eh? Mitty. Don't like that name. Uh... Another suggestion? Matey? Mido? Smitey? Mighty? Matey? Mido? I'm getting the same damn names! They're all the same. Um, let's go with Mido. Mido sounds good. Mido, Mido. No. No, we'll go. Yeah. Actually, what should we name our? We're gonna name our familiar after a game I've been playing on my Vita recently. Laharo from Disgaea 1. Where the fuck is the H? There it is. Laharo. Laharo is a badass. If you guys haven't played the Disgaea games, you need to play them. Because they are amazing. Yes. Come Laharo. Oliver, we won't let you off. set off into the wild with only that withered wand in your hand. Let me give you some spells to aid you in battle. First is the restorative incantation known as Healing Touch. Oh, we got Healing Touch. It's like we're in Warcraft all of a sudden. Tidy, that's the most useful spell there is for a wandering adventure. Cuts, bruises, sprains, gashes, all gone in a jiffy with Healing Touch. Gee, you make it sound like I'm going to get hurt an awful lot, Mr. Drippy. Next, I give you the gift of the Blazing Inferno Fireball. Shoots a little ball of fire, that one does. Plant-based species flippin' hate fire, man. Even old tree face here is scared of fireball. Drippy, how dare you? You would never aim such a spell at me, would you, boy? Golly, of course not, old father Oak. We got a couple of spells that we can use in battle. It's pretty good. Compress square to open up spell book. Alright, so we can use healing touch whenever fireball is meant primarily for use in battle. That said, the most unexpected of spells can prove incomparable useful, incomparably useful given the right set of circumstances. Novel problems call them for novel ex ah solutions. After all, if you find yourself with something of a loss, I recommend that you go through magical repertory. All right, come on, come on. I want to fight stuff already. Oh, it's a little little duck monster or something. 
どうするの戦いのイメージを頭に思い浮かべるんやそしたらそいつも戦ってくれる分かった戦いをイメージやってみるあ、it's ready to go it's rearing to fight now let's see how we control this guy teeny bopper for real teeny bopper Right, oh, Otto boy, it's time to learn about fighting with familiars. First off, you've got to pick who's going to fight out of you and your little friend. We've gone to the trouble making him, so we'd best give him a go, eh? Select him, will you? I don't want to select him. It won't let me select myself. Alright, Taddy, now let's send him into the foray, shall we? Oh, yeah, see that circle in the top left there? That's your familiar stamina gauge. What that does is shows you how much longer he can fight for, you see? The longer you keep him in the go, the shorter his stamina gauge will get. When it's empty, that means the poor lad is so tired he can't fight anymore. Tragic, eh? So before that happens, you have to call him back to you for a bit of rest, like... Oh, and there's something else about familiars you should know. See this little mark by here? That's his sign. Interesting. What does the sign do? It's sort of like a star sign, except there's only four of them. Sun, moon, star, and planet. And like star signs, different ones get on better. You can use that to help you in battle. Let's talk about tricks. Their proper powerful abilities, a bit like your spells. And just like spells, they cost MP to use. You can see the cost written next to them. 10 MP? MP? What you've got to remember is that you and your familiars share MP and HP. Oh, that's an interesting mechanic. I guess it did come from my soul or whatever, so that makes sense. So if a familiar uses a trick or takes a big hit, it's your MP or HP that'll suffer. Crikey, this is a long old lesson, eh? You fucking got that right. Your familiar's stamina is always going down, so you'll need to swap with them regularly. You can do that anytime you like by pressing L1, ain't it? Now I'm going to stop talking before I put us both to sleep. Alright, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just shut up. I'm gonna cut loose right off the bat. Let's see what it does. This is actually pretty cool for a starting ability. From back down to half. What am I doing? Alright. So pressing down automatically brings them back. And then brings them back out. Let's stop wasting time. I'm wasting my stamina over here. There's one down. Can I move this guy around too? Hell yeah, I can. It's fucking cool. One, one more hit. Bam! Oh! Almost missed that. Got some of our MP and HP back. Level two. Alright, well, we got a familiar. That's pretty damn cool. So now you know how to fight with a familiar, ain't it, Olive Boy? To be a true contender, you need to learn what, uh, when to let your familiars loose and when to take control yourself. I'll do my mess best, Mr. Dripping. Oh, and when he's not fighting, a little fella can be found taking it easy in the creature cage. Alright, yeah, we can feed him treats and, uh... Improve. Ooh, some will improve their abilities, and others that can even teach them new tricks. Tidy. Feed the little blighters enough of what you fancy, and the bonds of familiarity between you will grow, meaning you can boost their abilities even more. Careful not to stuff them too full of sweets, though. They'll only end up getting full up. Adoration and moderation, that's the key. It's probably a lot to get your head around, but just remember that the creature cage is where you look after your familiars. And take it from there, ain't it? Creature Cage got it. I promise to look after him for real. Uh, real well, Mr. Dripping. Oh, that was a long bit of conversation. We are not done, it looks like. Almost forgot we had something we wanted to ask you, you trunk trunkiness. There's a guard down that Ding Dong Dale. He's broken hearted, see? Hmm, broken hearted, you say? Shader's evil spreads still further. So you will be needing that we will, your okitude. There's a, there's quick you are. 
Man, this guy's speech patterns just get me all fucked up. Messed up. Still got it, ain't you? Ho ho ho, patience, young drippy. Of course I have. Let me see you now. Let me see now. Hmm. I know it's here somewhere. Crikey, you've not gone and lost it, have you? Hmm, lost it? The insolence. I put it away safely among my uppermost branches. It's just a little tangled up there, that's all. Ah, oh, while I seek it out, I have a favor to ask of you. Oh, I did mention that we're in a flippin' hurry, didn't I? Mr. Drippy, we should help old Father Oak. He gave us the spells, didn't he? Ah, uh, how very refreshing to meet such a responsible and honest young man. All right, all right. I get the flippin' message. Go on. What is it you need from us? Well, it's the guardian of these woods, you see. The guardian, eh? What's up with the old fella? I'm afraid he has become rather unruly of late, and he is neglecting his duties. Well, 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 that's no good, is it? We'd better help you sort him out, then, eh? The guardian, he sounds kind of tough. Too right he is. He's way stronger than your average beastie. But you've got a familiar on your side now, man. You'll be fine. And besides, if you're going to take down Shader, you can't back out of the light... Ah, bit of light guardian bashing now, can you? Okay, I'll do it. How very kind of you. The guardian can be found in the deepest part of the wood beyond the whispering waterfalls. I wish you luck. So much reading. Oh, first bell is now familiar. You're turning into a proper wizard, ain't it? Oh, boy. I guess I am, huh? Now then, why don't you take a closer look at your new mate, eh? How do I do that, Mr. Dripping? Piece of cake, listen up. Alright, main menu, friends and familiars. Do do do, we go there. It looks a bit complicated and. Fuck. Now you're still new to the wizarding lark, so there's a limit to what you can do, ain't it? But keep fighting monsters and eventually you'll get stronger. We call it leveling up, see? Alright, you tell me stuff I know already. Come on. You got it, Mr. Drippy. Alright, so we can go to our spell menus now. Healing touch actually costs MP. Can I do this anywhere? Nothing happens. Oh! Alright. I thought I was about to leave unexpectedly. Friends and familiars. He has cut loose. It looks like he only has space for one more trick. Effect shape field. A barrage of random slashes deals physical damage to all enemies. Oh wow, I think that's... At level 5 we learn something called Sandblast. Oh, level 20, Ray of Light. That sounds pretty, pretty cool. Alright, we got runaway tactics. Can I change these? Oh wow, accessories. I didn't want to look at equipment, though. Can I put these on? I guess they're already on, maybe. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was... Mm, let's go back to the abilities. Miracle move. Burning heart. Whips up a giant ball of flame, dealing fire damage to a single foe. How do we use our miracle move? That sounds cool. Anyways, let's... Look at the creature cage real quick. Alright. We have no treats right now to give our Loharo. Let's see, growth limit at level 10. See, I think once he gets like level 10, we can evolve him. I think that's how it works. Anyways, we'll get more into that when... Let's see, we gotta go this way? Yes, we gotta go this way. We'll get more into that once we get some treats and start leveling them up a bit more. I'm going, yeah, I'm going the right way. The star is the path I need to take. Here's a treasure chest. Let's see what we got. We obtained a loaf of white bread. That should be helpful, I guess. Don't got any butter, but I guess it's fine. Just plain bread. Oh, what do we got here? Another cutscene? More talking? Do I have to read more? Please don't make me read more. Whispering Waterfalls. We got a bunch of enemies in here. I like that guy. I want to catch him. I know there's a way to get much more familiars. I, d I just don't know how it works. We gotta go to town and buy some Pokeballs or something. I'd best warn you, Ollie boy. 
It's absolutely crawling with monsters behind here. Careful you don't get got careful you don't get got before you even got to the guardian it, eh? Oh my god. Please don't talk like that. I'll be fine, Mr. Drippy. I have a familiar to help me now. There's brave you are. Don't forget though, if it's going to get tough ah, if the going gets tough, don't be afraid to cast healing touch. I sure won't. Remember what old tree face told you? That was kinda rude. You should just try to familiarize yourself with the main menu too whilst you're at it. You're not going to break anything no matter what you press, so have a good old poke around, ain't it? And when you learn new skills and that, new options will come up in the main menu. So keep your eyes peeled and keep ah, and make the most of your new toys. Jeepers is so much to remember. That's it's actually not that complicated. It's actually it's actually pretty simple. It's not too bad. I'm not having too many problems yet getting everything. Uh -oh, we got a little restorative thingy, whatever this thing's called again. No, we don't need to save. We'll be fine. We might be fine. Alright. Gonna fight the teeny bopper. Teeny bopper. I'm gonna play as this guy. Throw him out there. We got all our MP back somehow. I guess when we leveled up, maybe. Let's cut loose now. Let's just do it. Might finish him off. Maybe. Nope. Was not enough. There we go. Did drop anything? He did not drop anything. Fight was pretty easy. We need to throw some more monsters our way. I almost think. I almost thought I should put it on easy. Just to not have to grind so much, but. It should be fine. Yosh, Gumbado? 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 Okay. Need to not use all my MP since we share MP. I need to save some of it for, uh, for my healing. There we go. Oh! We got some of our MP back there, though. That's pretty nice. I'm not sure if we get our health and MP back at all when we level up. Probably not. That would be kind of... I don't know. That would make things a little too easy. Oh. Crikey, I knew there was something I forgot to tell you about familiars. Oh, uh, what's that? This is important, Ollie boy, so listen carefully, alright? I showed you how to use... How your familiars can use tricks, didn't I? Well, as the little fellows get stronger, they'll start learning new ones. If you want to see what tricks... Alright, thank you. We already looked at this ourselves. can change the command slots used for skills. That's kind of cool, I guess. Which reminds me, a familiar can only remember a maximum of eight tricks at any given time. Meaning if you want them to learn a new one, you'll have to make them forget one of their old ones. So that sounds kind of like Pokemon. Except you can only learn like four in that game. Yeah. So we get double the fun, I guess. What do we got here? Barely even got a look at this guy. A Spitu and a Jabber. Very creative names in this game. I'm gonna just cut loose on them. I know it's gonna use most of my MP, but... I'll get both of them, like, pretty low. Half health, maybe. Knock one of them down, too. Wow, killed that guy pretty quick. Come on, Jabber, what you got? You're getting me kind of low. He leveled up. We got a sandwich. The Harl reached level 3. Is that something I can feed my guy? I can feed him a chocolate, which gives attack an increase. Increases my attack a little bit. And it's got a heaviness of happy face. Not sure what that means, but let's try eating it. I think that was how full he gets. Our attack increased by one point. So that's a cool little way of upgrading our characters. 
He's got one full point, and his familiarity is still at one. Interesting. Let's go find some more people to kill. Oh. I wonder why Drip doesn't help us. He don't have no fights. No uh, fighting abilities or anything. Yay! Ooh! Uh... How do I want to do this? Spells... Healing Touch. Alright. Ooh! This guy's... Might die. This could be bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Provisions. Provisions. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Eat it. Eat it now! Oh, this might be bad. Well, I did not save. So, you'll lose all of your money. What? Why are you taking all my money? Let's see where we start off. Alright, well, we did not have to start over. So that creates, like, a checkpoint. What is that? Oh my god, I didn't even know that was a monster. A whippersnapper. That jabber. Her. I do not want to mess with those guys. Alright, we're going to cut loose off the beginning. And kill this guy over here. Quick! Alright, took him out. There we go. Man, I cannot believe that Jabber did so much damage to me. I should have ate that food sooner. I didn't realize. I didn't realize that uh, I would get dropped so fast. And I forgot I even had food, to be honest. Alright. Am I even going there? Where am I? I don't remember this path before at all. Alright, Team Bopper. I don't think we have any problems with you. There we go. Yeah, that went pretty smoothly. I only got a couple hits to hit me. I'm gonna have to be very careful around those, um... I think we retained our levels. That's cool. I think that's probably why it took our gold. That's not, we can keep going this way. Uh, I don't want to go that way again. That's where we died last time. That way's full of trouble. Hello, teeny bopper. All right, throw him out there. Yeah, these guys die really easily. It's starting to do a good amount of damage. Just need to be careful of jabbers. They cheat. They're doing something funny over there. Hit me for like half my health with one attack. It was ridiculous. We got a special looking treasure chest over here. Blue with gold trim. Let's see. It must be sealed by some kind of magic. Well, we cannot get that right now. That is a little disappointing. Meaning we have to go back the other path. Oh god, there is a jabber. I don't like the jabbers anymore. He hurts me. He hurts me so good. Alright. So okay. Oh, that attack! Fast! Kill him! Kill him! Yeah! See, the trick is to not give no fucks and just all out attack him. And we leveled up from that. Got crunchy carrots. Um, I think we should eat some food. That restores a lot of HP. Let's use some of our bread. Eat a whole loaf of bread. This kid's a freaking pig. Let's see if we got anything up in here. Ingredients. I'm guessing there's some kind of crafting system involved. Ooh, I wonder if we can get different outfits. That'd be cool. Fairy suit. Twig found near Oliver's house. Faint symbols adorn its surface. Plus two attack and plus five magic attack. 
All right, then. B E A beautiful. Let's go back here and see if we have someone that's gonna two shot us again. Got some more white bread. And we got two pass being go down. We'll go down this one first. Uh This one's like crisscross paths up there. We'll check out that path afterwards, see if there's anything hidden. Or we'll come back using that path, actually. Teeny Bapa! Three shot him. Aw, oh, so close. Level four. Alright, this... Sucks that I died. That was kind of embarrassing. Was not expecting to die like that, but, um... We're gonna stop for... Right here, right in the middle of the woods, for now. Seems like a good enough spot to stop. Not really. It's not a good spot to stop at all. But, we're getting a little short on time, and... So we'll stop here. Thank you for watching. I wanna... It's... Something. I... Drew a blank there. I'll see you all next time.